What's going on, guys? It's Angel. Uh, first uh, prediction videos on Hell in the Cell, which was a late one, actually. But whatever. I'm bringing you my TLC 2014 predictions. Yes, we got the Christmas lights up. Uh, last time you saw those was my TLC predictions last year. And then before that, you saw them from my Survivor Series predictions last year. And I'm sorry I didn't bring a Survivor Series prediction video. But yeah, that, let, let's just forget about that. And let's talk about... Um, Actually, uh, I want to say I got two of the things that I ordered for Black Friday, finally. Uh, I got this here, uh, Dean Ambrose hoodie. Of course, you know, the back Dean on it is Unstable Ambrose. Uh, this I got on Cyber Monday, actually. My uh, 49ers fitted. The reason I got this uh, is because of um, WrestleMania. Actually, I didn't even show you guys on YouTube. I posted on Instagram and stuff and Twitter, but uh, I never show you guys. But, yes, Wrestlemania tickets, guys. I finally, I got mine the day they came out, and, uh, yeah, I'm going there to, uh, make up for, um, the disappointment of not being there this year, um, even though I have a feeling that, um, this coming Wrestlemania won't be as memorable as 30. Hell, I don't even think there's ever going to be a WrestleMania as memorable as 30, to be honest. But hey, what you going to do, man? Oh, man. But whatever. Let's just get to this. Uh, if I, The more I think about it, the more I'm going to keep hating myself about it. So, yeah, let's just get to these predictions. Uh, we got uh, Harper, Luke Harper going up against Adolf Ziggler in a ladder match for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Uh... So I'm going to say Luke Harper retains. They just put the title on him not too long ago. So there's no reason for him to drop it to Ziggler. And Ziggler is going to be alright. Especially after winning the... Um, becoming the sole survivor of Survivor Series. And accepting the Match of the Year award for that match. Since it won Match of the Year. Uh, let's see. Uh, next we got... Um, we got Rusev going up against Swagger. Okay, I don't get Alright, so of course Rusev won the United States Championship last month. This is going to be his first title defense on pay-per-view. But why Swagger? These guys feuded over the summer. They It culminated at SummerSlam. And yeah, we, we know how that ended. So why? Why, why are we putting this... Uh, man. Uh, obviously, Rusev's going to take the win. If Swagger wins, then hell will have froze over. But Rusev is going to win, obviously. I don't see him losing. Uh, we got Kane against Ryback in a chairs match. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ryback's going to take the win on this one. Um... And by the way, I don't know why we need a, a chairs match, really. It's basically like your normal no disqualification match, or street fight for that matter. Just you bring in a lot of chairs. Like, there's no stipulation, really. It's just pinfall and submission, like usual. Uh, but whatever. I'm going to pick right back to go over. Um, next, we got Miz and Mizdow going up against the Usos, putting their tag team championships on the line. Oh, man. You know, uh, Miz, I never really liked him too much as a face, and I saw him come back, so I'm like, alright, is this dude a face or a heel? I, I can never really tell. And then, you know, he's a heel, and eh, he was eh with me, but then, you know, he got Miz out with him, and like two weeks into the whole Miz out thing, I started kind of liking him a little more, and I will say that I'm a fan of this team. And I think they will retain. So I'm going to go with Miz and Mizdow. Yep. Um, next we've got a... Uh, by the way, and I know I mentioned the whole uh, chairs match thing. Like, why is that really a match type in WWE? But um, also, also, there's this next match. Um, Eric Rowan going up against The Big Show. Uh... In a stairs match, steel stairs, and that's and the pay per view name this year is called Tables, Ladders, Chairs, and Stairs. What? It's pretty cheesy, in my opinion. But uh, 
whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rowan's gonna win that one. So yeah, we'll go with Rowan. Next, we've got a uh, Bray White against Dean Ambrose in a TLC match. Yes, Lord. Yes. I have been waiting. Oh, oh man! Ever since Survivor Series, the night it was announced, I've been waiting for this match. It's gonna be just awesome, I predict. Uh, and of course, I said Ambrose doesn't even need to win matches on pay per view to be over. Uh, and I said, you know, he's gonna lose the Survivor Series, and he's still gonna be over. He lost. Um, it'll be a disqualification. Uh. And to be honest, I don't know why, but I see him getting his first win this year on pay-per-view as a singles competitor. I see it happening. So, yeah. I'm just going to go... <laughs> I'm going to take a gamble on this one and pick Dean Ambrose. So, yeah. Next, we've got uh, Nikki Bella going up against AJ. And uh, this will be for the Divas Championship. So AJ won Diva of the Year earlier this week, and she, in her speech, she said that she hopes that next year she sees people like Charlotte or Bailey or Emma or Paige win that award. When she said that, that makes me think that that, that that's like a retirement speech. Oh man, so she's uh, she's probably leaving after this weekend. She, I heard she wants to start a family with uh, Phil or CM Punk. But, um, ah, man, I think I'm going to pick, uh, Nikki Bella on this one. Will she be gone forever? I don't know. I mean, because she's really turned the whole Divas division around and it just seems like to make her go out quietly, like how Caitlyn, for example, did, it just doesn't seem right. Not for AJ. Come on now. Ah, man. And on top of that, I'm probably not going to get to meet her at WrestleMania Access. Oh, man. So, but it's her life. She can do what she does. I'm not one to tell her what to do with her life. Uh, so, AJ, I still love her, but, you know, it's her decision. I'm picking Nikki Bella, though. Then we've got uh, the main event. A tables match between Seth Rollins and John Cena. And if John Cena loses... Then he is no longer the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, I can't remember Cena ever winning a tables match. The last time I could ever remember him in a tables match was um, uh, that one year, 2009. The very first TLC pay-per-view in San Antonio. And uh, yeah, he got, I think he got speared through a table by Sheamus if I'm correct but yeah and he lost the championship there but uh yeah uh I don't know they're kind of and kind of the build to make it seem like he's gonna lose but you know I, I'll pick Seth Rollins I'll pick Seth Rollins to win this match uh will there be interference of any kind I know Kane interferes lol <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what happens, right? In almost any match with Seth Rollins, Kane interferes. But whatever, we'll see this Sunday. So I predict Seth Rollins, and of course you heard all my other predictions. And so yeah, uh, like I said already, I'm going to WrestleMania. Uh, and I'll keep more updates on that too. But anyway, this is Angel, and good night. And as always, do you... God, scream out! What will save us? And